near Mirror House. Hello, I'm Bridget O'Neill. I'm Megan Mathis, and welcome to the sixth season premiere of House. Tonight, we're going to interview the stars of House, ask them a few questions about social media, what we can expect for the show. Maybe we can find out who's on Twitter. Yeah, I Twitter. Twitter.com slash Omar Epps. Who are you most excited to speak to, Megan? Oh, Olivia Wilde, absolutely. And then in Italy, I'm Tredici. And they're like, Tredici, Tredici. I have to say, um, Jesse Spencer is hot. He is a cutie pie. And he drives a pickup truck, ladies. That's like so down to earth. I wish I could say I drive something cool. I just don't. I, I drive a pickup. Yeah. That's kind of hot. Just yeah, saying, Jesse and Spencer. And Hugh Lowry. I mean, what can we say about him? I mean, oh my God. I mean, crush on an older guy. Hello. We're like a rock star to the younger generation. Well, that's that's a very exciting thing. That's a very. Ex- I'm very flattered. I'm honored. And I will try to use my powers for good. Is there anything in particular for the sixth season that you're looking forward to or that maybe uh, you could let us know about? Uh... Well, I mean, it's done. this is a very big departure for us, the beginning of this season, to do a double episode and an episode that's not set in the hospital and it doesn't have a medical mystery and it doesn't have the usual cast of characters. It's a very big, um, it's a very big risk. What, what's some of your inspiration to play such a meanie? Uh, I have a core of meanness deep down. Actually, not that deep. It's about that far below the surface. Suddenly I'm a little scared. Yeah. I'm a little scared I might get like backhanded exactly now. the right response. That's very appropriate. Lisa, Hi. how are you? I'm good. how are you? Congratulations on your sixth season. Oh yeah, That's exciting. That's so great. Can you reveal anything about this upcoming season? You know, it's, um, it's going to be a juicy one. There's a lot going on besides the normal incredible storylines about the patients. There's a lot of interaction with the characters, uh, the, the main characters themselves, and comings and goings and surprise twists and turns, so I don't think you'll be let down. Hi, Jesse Spencer. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, I'm well. How are you? Doing very you, well. You're facing the camera. I like that. So, about the pickup truck, do you find that people ask you to help them move? They do, all the time. I'm okay with it, though. That's why I got it, as long as you do a car swap. But right. we should totally swap numbers because, you know, I kind of need a truck. And then you can oh, take really? the Fiesta, okay. which we drive. Oh, sweet. They're, yeah. they're, they're cool cars. Do you have a Twitter account? No, I do not. Have you thought about getting one? Not that you need one. Omar's trying to make me get one. He's a, he's a Twitter head. A tweeter. I'm a sorry, did you head. say Twitter head? Yeah, he's a Twitter head. And uh, do, what, is that not a thing? I, no, I it's it just up. adorable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard that before? No, I've never heard it. Maybe I just coined a phrase. Yeah, he's a Twitter head and he's trying to get me in on it, but I... And that's what I think about Twitter. (laughs) Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Olivia. How do you feel about uh, your nickname on the show? Would you rather say, I mean, that's sort of weird, 13? I I love it. One of the reasons I love it is that, you know, we're very big around the world and no matter what country I go to, um, people tend to approach me with enthusiastic comments about the show. And the funny thing is that my character is a different name in every language. Like, in Spain, I'm Tres. And they come running after me like, Tres! Tres! And I'm like, oh! And then in Italy, I'm Tredici. And they're like, Tredici, Tredici! And I'm like, this is so cool. I'm curious if you connect with your fans on Twitter at all. I'm not on Twitter. There's someone who, who pretends to be me on Twitter, but it's not me. Am I using the verb tweet correctly? Yes, you yes. Uh, you tweet, you tweet. Oh, you tweet on it's, Twitter? It's called Twitter, and when you tweet, you are tweeting. This is the makings of a theater voice exercise, like a warm-up. We could make one up right now. It could be like, I tweet a tweeted Twitter. Sometimes we're referred to as tweeple. Uh, Jesse Spencer just called uh, Omar a Twitter head. He is a Twitter head. Uh, well, Twitter for me is just sort of a direct line to, you know, people out there who may be fans or just interested in sort of what's going on every day. And I sort of bring people in to a slice of my world. Like, when I'm up at 4.30 in the morning, I tweet on the way to work. And people are like, oh, wow, I didn't know you guys had to get up that early. And then when I get off at 10 that night, I'm like, on the way home. They're like, wow, I didn't know. You know, just stuff like that where it just... Kind of give people a peek inside. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're on the most popular show in the world right now going into your sixth season. Nice. And so being on Twitter allows you to interact with your fans directly. <gasps> oh, my gosh. 
How old? Eight months old. The first time. And weirdly, I did too. It was a fun day for everybody, for the whole family. I love that they got in there together and they made it a family event. That was really cute. This is me trying to steal actors from other interviewers. <laughs> it's cutthroat here. You got to do what you can. Peter Jacobson. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I was told that this show is the most popular in the world. Apparently, sometime back in June, we hit that mark. Around the world, we are the most popular show. Something like 80 million. No, I think it's something like 8 trillion people watch our show every week. It's, it's, an, it's, an, obscene, it's an obscene amount. It's tens of millions. 20s, 30s, hundreds of millions. I don't know. It's a lot of people. Have you ever given any thought to social media, Twitter, Facebook? I've been asked that before. I avoid Facebook like the plague. I, I, I just have this visceral revulsion to Facebook. I don't know why. I figure if I'm on the most popular show in the world, what the hell do I need to be on Facebook? That's kind of my thinking. Right. You're so popular already, we don't need a Facebook to find you. Exactly. Nobody wants to see any more of Peter Jacobson. That's. I, know I don't know the- about that. I can't help but look at cars as they pass if they remind me of the Ford Fiesta. Reaction to the season premiere? Oh, I thought it was awesome. I'm a therapist, too, and it was so real life, and I loved it. It's excellent. Oh, it was fantastic. Oh, my gosh. The casting was wonderful. Um, just the set design. I mean, the house is just amazing. It just rocks the house every time. House rocks the house, you guys. Your reaction? Spectacular. Worth watching. Only an hour and a half. I wish it would have been two and a half. It was that good. The season premiere of season six. What was, was your reaction? Just, uh, I was amazing. <laughs> he was. I really thought you were anorexic. I think it would have been better if it was in 3D. <laughs> we were in a theater. Um, I loved it, and uh, the editors did an amazing job. And oh my my gosh, uh, what an honor to be part of that. <laughs> so, well, get in there, have some fun. We'll oh, see yeah. you inside. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, my pleasure. So I'll tell you what. That was an amazing, amazing premiere. And not only was the Arclight Theater amazing, I've never been there. That place is, like, beautiful. Oh, yes, I recommend it to everybody. It was full. People were loving it. I actually cried. Thank you so much, Ford, for giving us this opportunity. Ford is one of the sponsors of this event. And we are so overjoyed to be here. We're having a wonderful time. Hey, guys, keep a lookout for the premiere of House. It'll be on Fox. Don't miss it. It's so good. Okay, let's go party. Woo! Woo!